Hello, how's it going? Today I want to talk about other people's problem and why you shouldn't take it as personal problems of your own and look at them in a different way. So here I'm going to demonstrate something physically. So each and every book of these ones. Okay, so for example, this will be your family. So all of these are the problems that you hear about your family. Okay, that's one. Here is another book of your friends. So these uh, illustrates your friends. So this will be everything that goes with your friends. So all the problems or the negativity, all the, uh, you know, the, the stuff going on in life. This would be, let's say, distant family or people who are not really in your life. And then this would be social media, all the uh, news that you hear about on the TV or whatever. And all this can be a lot of weight. And just imagine having all of that. And, and take it in as a personal problem instead of doing it in some other way. Now, this is a really good presentation, representation of what I'm gonna talk about. So imagine as if you took every single one of this book and then you actually, you know, looked at it in another way, just as if you were reading a book you're reading about the person, you are thinking about what's going on, but you're just, you know, digesting this information and you could be learning from it instead of taking it as in a, in a personal way. So imagine all of this just goes away because you don't need this anymore. You have learned from it and you're now free. And as you're freeing yourself from all these other things, you can also, you know, take in more knowledge, take in more stuff. So that has been a problem that I've been going on with and that I uh, resolve every now and then because I forget about thinking it about it this way, is that you should just take people as a grain of salt, you know? And uh, it's very hard uh, sometimes because it might get your brain cloudy with all these thoughts, all this uh, stuff going on. It won't let you think about some other things that you want to actually think about that are important in the present right now. Because also other people just keep thinking about the past or the future, but are never in the present. So it is a very good thing to think about, you know, what really matters is what's going on right now. Even though, yes, we do have history. It is very important to know what has happened so it doesn't uh, repeat again, but it is also very important to be on the present and to know where you are. And yes, to know where you're going to go after, but don't really focus on that because, you know, everything changes always. So it's never going to be what you think about, but you can create that path every day by doing something that makes you go that way. And you could potentially achieve it, or you're trying to achieve. So there you go. I'm not going to make this too long because I'm just going to you know, get off track into another type of talk. So I don't want to make it too long. All right. So hopefully uh, this uh, helped you. And I don't know, uh, give me a like if you like this video and it really helped me if you subscribe to the channel so you can go on watching my videos and stay tuned. Click on the bell for notifications and I'll see you on the next video. All right. Bye.